Hi there, and welcome to the QPay Club's training session. You should have your society slash club login. So the first thing we're going to do, if you'd like to follow along, is log in. We're now at the Society Portal homepage. This is where you can access all the features of QPay. I've created a test account, so there's no information here. Normally, you'd see your members' engagement, recent account activity, and recent purchases, referring to student purchases of event tickets, merchandise, and other items. The first thing we're going to do is go through membership creation. It will be a good idea to have your membership created in time for O-Week. We can access the membership's home through the header at the top of the page. Simply click on Memberships. This is the membership's home page. Let's proceed with creating a new membership. At the top of the page, I can see the item Edit Membership. If you haven't got any memberships already, this will simply say Create Membership. We're going to click on that. Here, we're at the Membership Form homepage. This is where you can create all your membership forms. As you can see, I have quite a few test memberships here. Let's go ahead and create a new one. We'll scroll to the bottom and click Add Membership Type. A drop-down opens where we have some placeholder information. It's worth noting that you don't need to fill this out perfectly. You can always go back and edit a membership type, or if you're totally unhappy, you can deactivate the membership and start from scratch. Let's enter some generic information here. We'll need to fill out all this information or QPay won't let you create a membership. This includes a card image and a background color. Adding a background color is a great way to make your membership stand out in the QPay app. Here, we'll select a random file. The image you select can be anything. It might be a photograph of your exec team or simply your society's banner. Let's continue with entering our membership information. You can use membership validity dates to segment memberships. For example, you might have a membership that lasts for only one semester and another membership type that lasts for the entire year. I'm just gonna put in some placeholder dates. Welcome text will be sent to anyone who purchases your membership. We can also include mandatory questions that may be mandated by your guild or union. For example, many guilds and unions require the collection of student numbers. We can make the question mandatory by clicking this checkbox. Once we're happy with our membership type, we scroll to the bottom and select Edit Membership. You can now see we have three active membership types. There were two test types before, and with our new membership type, there are now three types. Going back to the Edit Membership page, you'll note we have the Membership Purchase URL at the top. If you'd like this to be changed once it's already created, reach out to our support at support at quicklypay.it. Otherwise, this is the link that you'll share on social media where students will go to purchase your membership. You might want to import your memberships from your old platform. There are multiple ways to do this. To import a bulk membership export, we'll go to import spreadsheet here. As you can see, you can download a comma-separated values template, which can be opened in Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. You'll then enter the exported information from your prior platform along with membership type IDs. Then you simply upload the file and click Upload Members. Your members will now be imported to QPay. If you'd like to sell cash memberships, for example, at an event or at OWIG, here, the student will give you their money. They may also pay by FPOS or another transaction through QPay. They'll enter their details here. You select to which membership you're selling them. The custom questions will appear at the bottom. For example, 
we had our student number here. Then we simply click submit order and that student will be sold a cash membership. They'll then appear in your membership list.